So channel update, it looks like we've reached 100 subscribers after having created a throng of videos, after having invested hours upon hours into this channel, it looks like there's finally some payoff. And I just wanted to personally thank all 100 of you and want to let you go, um, let you know that I greatly appreciate the positive feedback this channel regularly receives. You guys are awesome. Moreover, you guys can obviously expect uh, more quality content to come. You can expect better editing, different types of videos, uh, or whatever. And so with my celebrating this first uh, milestone with you guys, I wanted to provide you guys with a brief update on what I'm doing with this channel. So to begin, the first thing that you can expect is more videos of my matches involving the CAW showcase on this channel. Excluding my videos of multiverse wrestling, the videos on my channel involving CAWs fighting each other consist of the majority of my channel's viewership. Therefore, since I want my channel to grow, I'm obviously going to invest more time into producing these types of videos. Um, second, know that the number of CAWs I'm able to create are limited. WWE 2K19 unfortunately has this glitch going around where certain players aren't able to produce more than 200 megabytes worth of content. I hear that this glitch, moreover, has been around since 2K16. Therefore, some of the characters that my audience requests that I make, I won't be able to make unless I delete some previously existing character. So in some cases, I might oblige and create the character that you're suggesting. In other cases, I might not. It honestly depends on two things. The first is, what do I personally think about that character? And the second is, if I can create that character to my own satisfaction because I am not about creating crappy CAWs. The third thing I want to mention to you guys involves Multiverse Wrestling. Multiverse Wrestling is a huge project. Sometimes it takes me between 20 to 50 tries just to try to coordinate a match to my liking and I'm still not satisfied with it. Um, and obviously the editing process is pretty brutal sometimes. So my aim for Multiverse Wrestling is to upload a video every two to three weeks um, and that gives me enough time to properly coordinate a match um, just in case I get frustrated and decide to quit. And it gives me some time to edit so I don't go rushed in the editing process and you have less of that choppy editing in some of my videos. Um, the fourth thing that I want to mention is that if you like Multiverse Wrestling, be sure to hit a like button and leave a comment. I know that I sound like every YouTuber ever by saying smash that like button and leave a comment. But this is honestly how I gauge whether or not my audience enjoys my videos. So if you like Multiverse Wrestling, leave a like, uh, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And if there isn't interest in Multiverse Wrestling, I might just drop it. Um, because that takes a boatload of my time. Um, the fifth thing is that I have been considering doing a series... Uh, dedicate to feature suggestions I'd like to see in future WWE games. To be honest with you guys, anime eyes are like long overdue in this series or some suitable replacement for anime eyes. I want to see Heihachi's hair. I want a Majin Buu headpiece. I want particle effects. Um, I want it all, pretty much. So I'm going to do a series sometime in the new future and it's going to involve feature suggestions and I'll see how that applies with you guys. And last but not least, I wanted to hear from you guys personally. What do you want from this channel? Do you want me to cover WWE's product? Um, do you have a series suggestion for me? Something else? Leave a comment below. And that's all that I have for now, guys. Thanks.